How's it going YouTube? You guys are back with Next Tech Edit and today I'm going to be talking about the new DJI Mavic Pro as well as the GoPro Karma. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so we're going to get started talking about the two new drones that came out, the uh, GoPro Karma and the DJI Mavic Pro. Uh, so we're going to get started talking about those. I'm going to post some specs and some pictures uh, as I talk about each of them somewhere up on the screen that we guys can go ahead and take a look at them for yourselves. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with the GoPro Karma. Uh, now with this, you're going to have to purchase the camera separately uh, as a package and the total does come out to be around the same price as DJI's uh, Phantom 4 which is $1,300. I believe DJI has the Phantom 4 at $1,199 right now. So it's a little bit more expensive but at the same time it's also new. Uh, with the new features it is foldable if you haven't seen it already. Uh, it's more compact, can fit in a uh, backpack a little easier as well as what comes with it that makes it different than the other drones is the fact that the where the camera goes it pulls out, it unlocks and pulls out and you can actually use it as a three axis gimbal stabilizer as you walk and you can record uh, by hand. So it's kind of a two in one which is really nice to have because if not you have to go and buy a whole nother hand stabilizer or something like that. At the same time I think even though they try to add more to the drone, uh, DJI is still taking a pretty big hit at them in the drone market. Now, when you do have to buy the new D, uh, GoPro camera, it's the Session 5, I believe, and the GoPro 5. So those are going to be shooting in 4K as well, so you will still get your 4K picture. And there will be a picture of what the new uh, Karma supports as far as putting uh, GoPro's cameras into the mount uh, for you to film with while shooting or using the handheld stabilizer. Alright, so I don't know too much about the Karma, but I do know a little bit more about the DJI uh, Mavic Pro. Now, it does shoot in 4K. It does have Cinema 4K as well as UHD 4K. Cinema 4K is true 4K and it shoots in true 24 frames per second and it does have a different framing size as well. I know one's 16.9 and one's something else but those will be up on the screen for you guys. So where this comes into play is if you're going to be combining uh, footage from a 1080p camera and a 4K camera such as the Mavic Pro, what you're going to have to do is use the 4K setting because it will allow you to easier compare the two because the frame size is the same. If you tried using the frame size um, with the 1080p and the Cinema 4K, you'd be going through a lot longer process and a more difficult process to go ahead and use those together. So it just depends on how you're going to go ahead and combine other film. If you're just going to use all um, Cinema 4K, then you can go ahead and just use that. Um, so with that being said, you might want to go ahead and just stick with 4K so you can use it with other 1080p films and footage that you have. Just makes it a little bit easier in the editing process. Now when we talk about controllers, I didn't mention it much for the GoPro Karma, but the GoPro Karma comes in a box about this big. It has the screen and the controls all in one. You just kind of flip it up, uh, which is rather nice. I mean, it's a great controller. It's about the same size if not smaller than the uh, DJI Phantom 4 controller but now when you go ahead and switch and we'll stick with uh, DJI Mavic Pro the controller is more like a PSP if you ever play with a PSP Vita or just a PS4 controller in general just a little thing just like this and what you go ahead and do is you can go ahead and take your phone and you can put it right in between the uh, two ports on the bottom and control it up here and this ends up being your display so that's rather nice and you still get the connection that you would with the DJI Phantom 4 now this does it goes up to 4.3 miles I believe now you might you know not want to test it that far just because of other buildings or connection issues it does have return to home and the normal features that DJI Phantom 4 had so it's you know, it's a nice feature to go ahead and have but it's an awesome distance so you can go ahead and just use your phone as a display so I think it's an awesome system to have set up so like I said so far in this video I am a little biased towards the GoPro Karma and the DJI Mavic Pro if I can get the name straight but um for $999 you can go ahead and get the Mavic Pro you get the charger the controller and the battery for $999 you can go ahead and get the bundle which in my opinion isn't worth it because you get this little bag they could have done a lot better in designing the bag some extra props uh, I believe it's a charging dock and two batteries so for $1,300 it just wasn't worth it to spend another $300 for me because I can go ahead I get it a little bit cheaper than the $999 anyway so I can just go ahead and buy the battery without spending another $300 and I have a camera bag that I don't 
use that will fit in perfectly. So it all comes down to that. If you want the extras to spend the $300, then go ahead. However, I think everyone would be just fine with purchasing the $999 version and just purchasing an extra battery or two. And just like the DJI Phantom 4, you can buy props that you're, like I can buy them at Target, you can buy them at Best Buy, wherever they sell accessories, you can go ahead and buy them. So right now, I would say DJI is definitely winning price point and uh, overall drone wise it may not have a stabilizer that pops out but you still get an awesome camera you still get awesome footage it's still foldable the controller is awesome overall for $9.99 I think DJI has won this comparison I hope you guys enjoyed the video I will be getting the uh, Mavic Pro as soon as it comes out although you can see plenty of other footage elsewhere like Casey Neistat and I believe Tech Rev I think it is they have a uh, video so go ahead and check them out if you haven't already and be sure to like comment subscribe definitely share the video if you would and I'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching can you make me feel like a rebel?